Hello and welcome to the Book of Unwritten Tales 2, where I did indeed take a look at the walkthrough, just to point me in the direction of what to do next. And apparently we need to use the wrench, or the, uh, yeah, socket wrench, to wind up this cuckoo clock. And that'll move things forward. The wrench could actually fit. It's worked! It's ticking! Alright. Set the time. I'll set the hands to 12 o'clock. The bird really has seen better days. It's losing its feathers. So we got a dropped feather and a mechanical bird. Remy has a feather in his hat. So we'll add the feather to the disguise. How should I touch it? Uh, with a tape. Oh. I guess we don't really have anything to attach it with. Well, we have a bird now. So we could put this mechanical bird into here. I brought Nate a little bird. That's so kind. Now we just need a thunderstorm to bring it to life. You can do that. You don't? At any rate, I'm glad I could help. Okay. Most show trees, flowers and clouds. That's just Esther. Nothing else. Oh, bottle. An empty bottle of cognac with a little musketeer hat for a cap. It says another one for all on the bottle. I don't like alcohol, but the cap's funny. Okay, so now we have a hat and a feather. A musketeer hat with a feather. Hmm, that reminds me of someone. Remy without a hat. Totally unthinkable. Okay, now we have a disguise with a hat. And that should work. Let's see. Let's see how good the disguise is. Yeah, sure. Try your luck. Look who's back, Ethel. It's me, Remy. Um, Monsieur de Damas. Monsieur de Dumas, you're back. Um, yes. But only very briefly, because I uh, have to go back. What is lurking down there at the bottom of that frightful hole? Um... I'll tell you everything, but for now, please, there's something you have to do for me. Oh, of course, anything. I want you to help the Shombish under the mounting of rubbish. Oh, well, is that... Really necessary? The zombies are being exploited. They simply deserve better than dish. Hmm. Wilbur said something to that effect as well. <laughs> what do you reckon? Um, Remy's probably right. 
Exactly. Listen to Wilbur. OK, then. What should I do? Help the zombie woman, Esther, mix this fluffy paint the zombies need. That shouldn't be a problem, as long as they don't eat me. I can guarantee they won't. Oh, Timmy, you're here too. Where is <laughs> Monsieur de Dumas? Um, um, uh, he's gone back down the shaft again. Shame. Okay. Let's go get us some fluffy paint. Hi, Esther. Yoo-hoo! Look who I have here. Oh, hello. This is Ethel. Ethel, this is Esther. Oh, hello. I... I think you've already met. I... I'm very sorry that my husband and I scared you so much before. And, um, uh, I'm sorry that I nibbled you a bit. That's okay. It can happen. I like the flower in your hair. Very pretty. Oh, thanks. I like the fact that you don't want to eat me. <laughs> <laughs> Wilbur said you had some kind of alchemy problem. I'm trying to make pink paint, but it has to be fluffy. Ah, understood. Show me what you've got. Peace between rats and zombies. That feels pretty good. There's still much to be done. Don't let me keep you. All right. So those two will work out the paint. Um. And you too? Making progress with the fluffy paint? Of course we are. Ethel knows her stuff. Well prepared, well prepared. You really seem to like each other. Esther is very friendly. Doesn't want to eat me. And Ethel doesn't want to eat me either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the paint is being worked on. And we've got some more empty soup bowls, but I don't know. Oh. Where should I stick the tape? On the base? On the edge? I'd first have to know what I need to stick the bowls to. Okay. them in the cave no no we don't okay then Somehow we need to find more black powder too. Ethel left a stew pot with a stew behind. Ah, but I don't think that's a problem. A good stew can simmer for days on its own without any harm. Okay. Ethel won't need this while she's with the zombies. I'll light it from the fireplace. So, that's done. Okay, we'll use that to light the dynamite then. Uh... 
I guess there's nothing else for us here. You shouldn't walk around with burning candles in your pockets. <laughs> but unusual situations call for unusual measures. And you still need more powder. I still need a few loads of black powder. Once I have enough, I can use it to make a proper stick of dynamite. Hmm. Where do we get more powder from? Have more fireworks appeared? The nice thing about the bell, Bill can't ignore me. If he doesn't respond, I'll wake up half the town and people will ask questions. What do you want? More black powder? I'm helping Gulliver, Esther and Nate produce the slates. Rats and zombies, you've got strange friends, Weathervane. Gulliver says you help them too. <laughs> if he says so, they were desperate to get into town. I charged them a pretty penny for it. Mm. Gulliver slaves away day and night to pay off what he owes you. Yes, uh, I have to admit he's doing much better than expected. Uh, still, I could have sold more slates if he was quicker. Yeah. Um... There are a few problems with the last delivery. Yes, tell me about it. That Van Buren's only prepared to pay a pittance, even though we're talking about a very special and limited edition. Those special requests are the problem. I hope you're paying Gulliver a little extra for them. Weren't you listening? I'm getting less gold per slate. Before my profit margin shrinks, he'll have to do without his gold. We all have to make sacrifices in this financial crisis. Gulliver says the next delivery will have paid his debts. Will you really let them go then? Wilbur, a sea stone merchant always keeps his word. Bill. <laughs> All right, maybe not, but I will pull them out of there. The magic slate market's collapsed. Prices have hit rock bottom. I'm switching over to water, bread, and fast horses. There's a mint to be made on them right now. Right then. We'll get the delivery ready, and you pull the zombies up. And me with them, tucked away in a bag somewhere. What did you say? <laughs> Gulliver's hoping to get a better job with you once he's finished the delivery. <laughs> How's he gonna do that? Does he want to live here, in a little townhouse, with wife and child? <laughs> he's a zombie! As always, a truly informative conversation. See you later. You're welcome. I don't mind risking life and limb for our cosy little chats. Hmm. No more black powder from there, then. Where do we get more of it from? Bill has a rope up there. He'll let it down as soon as we finish the last delivery. At least, that's what he says. It's the best chance I've got. Oh, do we... No, we don't use the soup bowls with this either. Do get Timmy higher up to begin with. Um... Um... I don't think... Not in my hand! <laughs> yeah. And he says he needs more gunpowder. But where do we get more gunpowder from? 
there isn't any anywhere. There's nothing we can do there. And, uh... There are no more fireworks here either. The steam engine is supposed to power the constructor. Theoretically, it could work. In reality, though, it's missing a V-belt at least. This monster could speed slate delivery production up so much that we could even finish that last delivery for Bill today. All we have to do is get this machine wound up and rolling. Oh, we had a whole, uh, a whole screen here. The fire in the furnace heats the kettle above it, turning the water to steam, making the pressure rise. The hotter the fire, the better. We need coal. Yeah. The fire in the furnace, the hotter the... The large flywheel drives the machine. However, there's no connection to the steam engine. Have your V-belts failed? So we need a really strong one. Ooh, another firework. I think that should be enough for a nice stick of dynamite. All right. So now we can probably get the coal. Any steam-powered machine worth its salt has a whistle like this. Okay, as I understand it, the raw materials are fed into the machine through this funnel, right? Okay, that would be wooden planks and some of the intelligent rock. Oh, we can already put those in. Ah, does this indicator show how effectively the machine's running? Then, we'll have to keep an eye on it once we're rolling. We might have to oil it once the machine is up and running. It's not necessary at the moment because the machine is well oiled. Good job, Nate! Okay. Do these levers control the constructor? You don't need to explain everything to me now. We need to get this baby working first. Hmm. Okay then. I'll have to remember that that screen is there. But, um... Let's go use the dynamite. We'll put it here. Good. That should work. And we'll... Absolutely not. Dwarves use long fuses to ignite an explosive charge. Those explosions can be pretty powerful, especially underground. <laughs> yeah, something like that would work too. The main thing is that we're far enough away and undercover while the thing goes off. Boom. Mm. Hey, Nate. <coughs> Time for work. So, what do we do then? That just, just says do like... Oh! I'll just press the candle onto the cross piece where the missing pan used to be. So, that should hold. Oh, and then we poke a hole. Okay, I poke a hole in the bag, sand runs out. It falls onto the scales, pushing one side down and raising the candle on the other side. It ignites the explosive charge and boom! 
we have our coal. And, thanks to our ingenuity, all our fingers too. <laughs> Everyone take cover! Right then, heads down, ready to fire. Ah! Now! Right now, now! Now, uh, any moment now. Nate, no! Oh, no. Ah, no! 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 Come on, Nate! Wake up! We've got to do something. You have to repair him. I can't. I'm not an engineer. That doesn't matter. Help him. I... Wait a minute. Maybe there is a way. Grandad told me about it. The best gnomish engineers pass this technology on to their students. Do it. Now, work, you stupid thing. Do you have a heavy wrench? That works better. Not necessary. Nothing that he can't fix himself, I'd say. We were worried, Nate. <coughs> but then someone saved you. As someone who'd forgotten for a moment that he couldn't. Nate! Are you okay? <laughs> okay. Hey, Nate! <laughs> Are you okay? You scared me the way you didn't move after flying through the air like that. How did I repair you? Let me put it this way. I had to use every last bit of my gnomish engineering <laughs> skills. Don't ever do anything like that again, okay? Time for work. Dwarves believe coal brings happiness. I think it mostly makes for dirty fingers. Okay, guys, let's get the pile to the workshop. No, no, you're just fine. You can help. Phew! I'll never be a miner, that's for sure. All right, so we have a pile of coal. Getting the coal here was quite a challenge, but the pile should be enough to get the delivery done. Coal, shovel, a little fire in the oven, Looks like everything's ready to go. Except for the uh, V belt. Hmm. Without the engine running, not much is going to happen. But once it is running, I'll be the first to pull it. <laughs> okay, the second. All right. Well. Um. How's it going in here? Fluffy paint will be ready. I bet we'll be finished with this before you boys have got your slate sorted. That's good news. Don't tell Gulliver about it. Let's surprise him. My lips are sealed. Okay. I don't think there's anything here that'll help us get Tim higher up to get that belt. Hmm. 
Take off the hat. And you don't want to stick tape onto the balls without knowing, you know, what you're going to do with them after. Remy! We'll be fine. He's tough, he's smart, brave, hopefully. Hmm. The explosion blew a pretty big hole in the wall. Luckily no one was hurt. Okay. Can't do anything more in here. Stand on the seesaw again, Timmy. Sure. Now, we've already tried this. But, um... Can you jump, like, um... Harder? <laughs> or something? Oh, can't use inventory items while up there? Okay. I don't see what else we can do here. Uh, what, what, what exactly are you making? Do you remember the bit about the ruler in my classroom? Of course. That bee belt. Mm. Come on. All right. Ah, the same as before. Everything okay, buddy? Wow, that was awesome. And an ogre's hand with too low. Hmm. There's nothing here. Hey, Nate! <coughs> what do we need to get the constructor up? <coughs> right! Even if we bring the steam engine to full speed with the coal, we still need a V-belt to transfer the energy. Good thinking. Oh. Time for work. Hmm. There's something I'm missing here, obviously. But, um... I don't know what. Don't really have a whole lot of items in my inventory either to use. And, uh, we, can we talk to, um, Gulliver now? If I disturb him for no. There's got to be something that I'm missing. Something that, um, I can do. Our little hydroelectric power plant works. Cracking. We have electricity again. Something that I can do to help Timmy fly a little higher. We might have to oil it once the machine is up and running. It's not necessary at the moment. Good job, Nate! I think I'm going to have to look at the walkthrough again to see how we get the the uh, V belt. Okay. <laughs> Turns out it's all about timing. We have to talk to Nate while Timmy's on the seesaw. And then that'll solve the issue. So we put Timmy onto here. Stand on the seesaw again, Timmy. Sure. 
And then we hey, talk to hey. Nate. Nate, can you come over for a minute? I need some extra weight. Trust me. Oof, that should do it. Ready, Timmy? More power. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> That's it. Ah, thanks. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, we make a good team. Yippee! All right. And now we go into here. And put the uh, the belt onto here. That looks good. That's that. Now everything should work. The constructor works? We'll only know once we try. Come on then, all hands on board, let's get this thing up to speed. Mm -hmm. If we can get the pointer into the green and keep it there, the machine will be running efficiently. Uh, and how do we do that? The good old gnome way. We just keep fiddling around with it until something happens. <laughs> all right, you're the boss. Well, hmm. Nate, the levers. That's going to be important later. Okay, so we've got all the levers up now. Cole. The door's closed. <laughs> Open door. It's still in the orange. Hey, the levers. Hey, the levers. Oh, that went down. Wait, the levers. Even further down. Wrong order. This is harder than I thought. Hmm. Leave us. 
Get the machine up and running. Okay. Nate, oil. oil. First, we have to get the machine up and running. First, we have to get the machine. Um. So, what do we do then if it doesn't need fuel or? Timmy. Hmm, nope, that wasn't it. Hmm, nope, that wasn't it. Hmm, nope, that wasn't it. Uh... We have to get it into the green and keep it there. Keep going, guys. We'll eventually get the right order. Okay. So, leave Nate, us. The levers. Believers. And two, a second time. No. Uh, Timmy. Darn it. That's <laughs> going to be important later. Okay, so. Coal in. Coal is bad. Leave Nate, us. Believe us. Uh, more coal. Efficiency. Keep going. Okay. What now? Um, oil. Nate, oil. Nice. Um. not it. Uh, do we 
do this Give now. Me. No. Every other step is to add more fuel. Nate, oil. How long do we have to keep this up? to keep it in the green four. Figure out it was coal, leave us coal, oil, right?
Levers again? No. It goes out of the green when, um... Get it into the green and keep it there. Keep going, guys. We'll eventually get the right order. But isn't it in the green already? I'm going to check the walkthrough. Because isn't it? Well, we'll soon find out. Okay, so apparently the correct order of things is coal levers and then coal oil uh, three times. So coal levers the final time. or something at the end there. So that was coal. Leave us. And then one oil. Nate, oil! the final time. Nate, oil! My 
George, I think we've got it. <sighs> Keep it up. It's beyond our wildest dreams. The slates are practically flying out of the machine. If only we had the paint, too. Here we are. Fluffy pink paint, as requested. That's... what's that? That's Ethel. She's been helping me. But isn't that... Yes, and she's my friend. Now, clear a space there. We have to paint the tablets fluffy. Yes, Buttercup. That's the last of them. And that means the way to the town is open for business. Clean air, the wide sky, and Timmy's already gone ahead to organize a few chocolates as a welcome gift. We wouldn't have managed without you, Wilbur. The slates look fantastic. How did you manage to make them so quickly? We all worked together, and we had the constructor. 50 slates an hour, rather than four a day. 50 slates? Do you know what this means? The slate business is profitable again, despite the poor price, thanks to low production costs. Uh... Yes, I thought we might open a little factory outside the town gates. You put up the capital, and we bring the know-how. And you'd already have a factory manager, too. <laughs> I've got a better idea. You stay where you are and produce a few hundred more of these babies. But, but, th th that wasn't the deal. I, I promised the others I'd get them out of here. You should never make a promise you can't keep. You've got a week. You better get cracking. Or I might just let slip your hiding a wanted criminal down there. Bill! been better not to have mentioned the constructor until we're all up top. He gave me his word. How can someone so rich and successful be so dishonest? People are weird when it comes to gold. <coughs> what are we going to do? Are we going to spend the rest of our lives amongst the rubbish building things for Bill so he can live a better life? I'm sorry, Gulliver. I really thought he would take us out of here. We... We need a plan. Only I just don't know where to start. I... Ivo! Princess Ivo is in town! Oh. Back to Ivo then. A few hours earlier. What the hell are you? Whatever you are, you'd better make like a tree and get out of here. I'm an elf and demand to know what's going on here. Too fat to be an elf. Well, really, I am. Uh... You're not allowed in the upper town without permission. Get on your thing and take a hike. Um... I'm Ivadora, Princess of the Woodland Realm. And I am not fat. <laughs> it would appear that elf pregnancies progress a little differently outside of the Woodland Realm. Don't you get fat at home? Elf pregnancies take years, but here? Oh, it seems that years turn into days. You should be glad. You'll get it over and done with quicker. I'm really not into... Oh, oh boy. Take me to the Archmage, now. The Archmage is dead, murdered by that Weathervane fella. That's idiotic. That's the official version, the only one you should mention in this town. Weathervane is a wanted gnome. Him and the other terrorists have fled into the underground. You think that Wilbur Weathervane, little Wilbur, is a terrorist? <laughs> what size got to do with it? That damn King of Thieves is a terrorist. Him and his rats are the heart of the underground. Where are they hiding? I already told you, in the underground. There are hundreds of ways down there, if you're a rat. And Van Buren is having all the rat holes she can find blocked up. And if one is not a rat? I only know of one way in, 
big enough for a grown man. That means it's maybe even big enough for you. <laughs> if Alistair is currently indisposed, who's in charge? Merchant Council leader Van Buren. Then take me to her. Ha! <laughs> Believe me, you don't want to go anywhere near that woman. Not to mention her daughter. This grand entrance to the underground, where exactly is it? Are you planning to make common cause with the terrorists? Perhaps I want to arrest them. Van Buren isn't interested in making arrests. She wants Weathervane and the King of Thieves well and truly out of her way. They both mean trouble, always have done. I've got nothing against your friend, but I'd love to see that little French rat with the Spanish accent put to the sword. Where's the entrance? You won't get any information out of me, Elf. Trust me, I'm doing you a favour. I'm sure I'll find out exactly what I need to know. You shouldn't be here. You should save your skin and get out of here while you can. You've got to think for two now. Don't forget that. I... bye. Come on, <laughs> Buttercup. Perhaps we'll find out more elsewhere. Wow. What the hell? Wow. Um, I guess we'll go about investigating this new pink version of Sea Stone in the next episode and hopefully finding a way underground. For now, um, thank you so much for watching and uh, spending a little of your time with me here today. If you like this video, please leave it a like. I would really love that. And also, please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I will see you again next time.